So we got a brand new DLC announced for Jurassic World Evolution 2 going way down below the water. It's going to be the prehistoric marine DLC and that one is coming with four awesome new dinosaurs I should say or species or specimens or whatever animals I should say and um, I totally cannot pronounce them so let me just read them out from the website and this is the um, Archelon which is for me the prehistoric sea turtle more about that in a second it's gonna be a very exciting topic to talk about uh, you you want to know why if you are into the planet zoo as well you want to know why and so we talk about that in a couple of seconds then we have the suspected megalodon which is not the megalodon it is the Dunkleosteus Dunkleosteus something like that um, it is sportive uh, spotting a massive sharp jaw this powerful armored fish was one of the most intimidating um, of its time. The voracious predator could soon be stalking your lagoons for better or worse. Um, that one looks like halfway through a mech and then like a very ugly fish in my opinion. Um, then we do also have the Notosaurus uh, which looks absolutely beasty. Uh, totally love the design of that one. I've never heard of it but uh, yeah what they do right to it is the look at those teeth. This nimble distinctive predator roamed the shores of the late Triassic uh, propelling itself forward with a webbed feet. Uh, interesting. So that makes its thing very quick. But this one is also very interesting in a, in a couple of ways because A, it is bioluminescent, um, which means it does glow in the dark um, just as the um, one of the, you know, uh, what was that? The Camp Creations uh, update delivered to our para. So very, very neat indeed. Um, and we also got the last one, which is the um, Shawnisaurus. I think that's how you pronounce that one. Um, another text to it is with a notably uh, rotund frame. Shawnisaurus was the graceful giant of the late Triassic period. Uh, period. With only a long, skinny snout, the... Oh, can you please not name this animal six times in a sentence? My goodness me. Um, the Sh uh, Shawnisaurus Saurus uh, would rely on size um, to fend off would-be predators. Um, really big thing, but there are also some other cool insights to um, yeah to what you can expect with this one. And this is why we also need to look at the screen right now. You can see the turtles again going onto a rock formation. And oh boy, would I be amazed to see something like that finally in Planet Zoo as well. I mean. We do have mods that bring us the sea turtle. Uh, that's not really what it is, right? And we also talked about the uh, Notosaurus. Um, it's not only bioluminescent. There's a second thing about it. It can also go on top of this wonderful rock formation. And we also saw on some of the screenshots that came with the announcement of the DLC that indeed there will be an underwater viewing area inside of the lagoon. Maybe it's exactly what you're looking at right now. Um, this is a steel framed kind of underwater viewing and. Ah, uh, look at, just look at this phenomenal model of the sea turtle. I just call it, you know, I'm just going to call this the uh, prehistoric sea turtle from now on. I, I do not want to uh, call it other, any other way, but um, yeah, it just, it just again makes me, makes me wonder why we don't get stuff like that in Planet Zoo. Uh, if Frontier can deliver something like that, it surely would be amazing to get something like this. Until today, we only had lagoons in this game that were kind of, you know, a big tanks, but the more they focus on these lagoons, they become more interesting and interesting. We have things for under lagoon, in the lagoon, we have things like viewing platforms, and now we actually have platforms. So. Yeah, it's becoming more and more like a vital thing of the game and I'm really looking forward to seeing what, you know, to see what, what they can do as well with it in the game. So actually I'm pretty curious for this DLC and the free update alongside it because there surely will be a couple of things for the underwater world of Jurassic World Evolution 2. And um, I just quickly want to quote some, no, not quite yet quoted, but there has been a comment on my YouTube channel a couple of weeks ago. Um, I do know that it has been on Lady's channel as well. It's a super long comment about why Planet Zoo may have mixed up certain uh, DLCs in the past to have a different pattern. And I found it interesting, but I didn't really read too much into it. But now as this DLC over here is announced rather early in the timeline, and as we know that Planet Zoo mostly is announced one week later, um, it is very interesting to see if next week there's going to be some news about Planet Zoo. If so, I am absolutely curious what the Planet Zoo DLC will be, considering we have such a big gap to the Holiday DLC, which obviously is also confirmed that we are going to have one. Uh, so maybe all of these rumors may, you know, be, be true at the end of the day. 
we will know at least in one uh, at latest in one week i guess but until then have a good time hopefully you guys are as excited as i am for this brand new dlc announcement of jurassic world evolution 2 either because you love the game or because you're curious what that means for planet zoo as well as frontier loves to kind of tickle those two together and i'm really curious to see what you guys think of it but uh yeah with those words uh, closing off uh, from my holiday office over here so sorry if the sound wasn't as great as usually but uh that's been it and i hope you guys enjoyed this little overview i talk to you in the next one until then goodbye